Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Transportation Secretary Duffy reveals plan to accelerate AAM vehicles. GA ASI and AeroVironment launch Switchblade 600 from Reaper UAS. And first ever Jetson 1 eVTOL delivery goes to Oculus Founder. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Secretary Duffy reveals plans to accelerate AAM vehicles. The FAA aims to accelerate the deployment of AAM, or Advanced Air Mobility Vehicles. The new technologies are full of potential to transform aviation, expand connectivity in rural America, reduce road congestion in urban areas, and enhance medical and emergency transport services. The pilot program is known as the Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Integration Pilot Program. Its establishment is in response to President Trump's executive order to unleash American drone dominance, and the program will develop public-private partnerships with state and local governments and private sector companies to develop frameworks and regulations to enable safe operations. Duffy said, quote, the next great technological revolution in aviation is here. The United States will lead the way, and doing so will cement America's status as a global leader in transportation innovation, end quote. The EIPP will have at least five pilot projects that will run for three years after the first one becomes operational. As it now stands, those pilot projects include short-range air taxis, longer-range fixed-wing flights, cargo, logistics and supply serving emergency management, medical transport or offshore energy facilities, and increasing automation safety. Applicants for the program must be a state, local, tribal or territorial government with a U.S.-based private sector partner. After the break, Tidal Fly and Delta Hawk collab on hybrid power plant. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Tidal Flight and Delta Hawk collab on hybrid power plant. Tidal Flight and Delta Hawk engines announced a collaboration to certify a hybrid power plant using Delta Hawk's engine for the Polaris hybrid electric seaplane. They have signed an MOU and have begun sharing engineering data and technical resources as well as details for a potential initial order of engines. Tidal said the hybrid electric powertrain enables its Polaris aircraft to meet requirements of both the airlines and DOD, with lower operating costs and logistics footprint. The DHK engine also enables the Polaris to deliver improved fuel efficiency, lower cost of acquisition, and lower maintenance costs. Russian drone strikes force Poland to respond. On September 10th, the Russian drone strike on western Ukraine crossed a little too far into Poland's borders, forcing four of its key airports to halt operations. The nation's air force responded by shooting down at least three aircraft, marking the first time that Russian drones have been downed in NATO territory since the major 2022 invasion. Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk confirmed that 19 incursions were recorded overnight. Some drones wandered far enough into Poland to trigger closures at Warsaw Chopin, Modlin, Sheshov, and Lublin airports. Vertical Aerospace Ready for Transition Flight Testing Vertical Aerospace announced it has successfully completed Phase 3 testing of its VX4 prototype with piloted wingborne flights, including conventional takeoffs and landings. Chief Test Pilot Simon Davis and Test Pilot Paul Stone conducted the wingborne phase of testing the full-scale VX-4, which included switching between manual and computer-assisted flight control modes. The real-life VX-4 performed as modeled in the simulator, thereby validating both the design and ease of handling. FAA asks airlines to crack down on power bank rules. A string of concerning fires has resulted in the FAA advising airlines to be more cautious about allowing their passengers to bring power banks onto planes. The safety alert recommends new rules on where lithium batteries can be stored, hoping to make potential fires easier to access and extinguish. 
The safety alert for operators, published in September 2025, emphasizes that spare lithium batteries should never be stored in checked luggage and must remain accessible when carried in the cabin. That's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. GAASI and AeroVironment launch Switchblade 600 from Reaper UAS. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems and Air Environment announced their collaboration successfully completed the first-ever air launch of a Switchblade 600 loitering munition system from a Block 5 MQ-9A Reaper UAS and marks the first time a Switchblade has been launched from an unmanned aircraft. The SB-600 was successfully integrated with the MQ-9A and flight testing was conducted July 22nd through 24th at the U.S. Army Yuma Proving Ground Test Range in Arizona. The team released two of the loitering munitions, one with an inert warhead and one with a high explosive round. Then the team transferred control of the switchblade from a user in the MQ-9A's ground control station to a user on the ground near the operational area. The test validated GAASI's ability to integrate and operate different airborne launch defects on the battlefield and how their use in a conflict provides lower risk options to commanders in contested operations. After these messages, First ever Jetson 1 eVTOL delivery goes to Oculus Founder. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. First ever Jetson 1 eVTOL delivery goes to Oculus Founder. Personal aviation company Jetson recently completed the first ever delivery of its one electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, and to none other than Oculus and Andrew Industries founder Palmer Lucky. This comes as Jetson works to shift its business overseas, establishing new headquarters in California. Jetson initially set up shop in Poland under founder Tomasz Patton. The first prototype came around in 2017, five years before the company shifted production to Italy in 2022. Since then, Jetson has added upwards of 500 customers to its books and is in the process of expanding its presence in the U.S. market by relocating its headquarters to California. Its primary offering is the 250-pound recreational personal aircraft, dubbed the Jetson 1. The Lucky Delivery is one of 100 limited Founder Edition units, each carrying special trim features and accessories aimed at early adopters willing to pay for exclusivity. They include front and rear LED lighting, removable batteries with built-in gauges, expanded instrumentation, and exclusive branding such as a numbered plaque and carbon fiber finishing. Accessories like a carbon dolly, chargers, and transport kits are thrown in to support the practical side of ownership. Lucky completed Jetson's abbreviated training in less than an hour before making his first low-altitude flights in Carlsbad, California. Jetson executives Stephen DeHane and Tomas Patton were on site to supervise the handover. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.